The promise that cancer stem cell research has to give to the uh, world of clinical medicine is that we feel studying cancer stem cells is studying the root of the problem. We wanted to understand if there was radiation um, resistance in the subset of cells that form tumors much like in normal stem cell compartments. Normal stem cells need to be able to protect themselves from stresses such as, and damage that we get from sunlight, uh, for example, low doses of radiation in order to maintain a tissue. And they do this by sopping up what we call free radicals. It turns out that cancer stem cells have used similar mechanisms to protect themselves from DNA damage or these damaging agents such as radiation. When we start looking at cancers from a developmental perspective, we start seeing cancers that utilize a lot of the same developmental pathways that we first did in our normal biology. And it's a hijacking and a twisting of that normal biology. We were able to pinpoint exactly what molecules were protecting the cancer stem cells. And so Dr. Dean and Dr. Cho were then able to use drugs that inhibited those particular proteins and found that those drugs now made the cancer stem cells sensitive to radiation. What this does is it gives clues as to drugs that could be used in the clinic that could uh, make this population of cancer cells more sensitive to therapies. There's nothing I'd like more than for someone to to use the information we find about cancer stem cells to find better therapies. Uh, I mean, that would be a dream come true. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.